family welcome back so I asked this question on my Instagram page and which is how can sexting harm you and um, I had a few people like it but I had this one brother which I'm giving him a shout out his Instagram name is black kings matter he actually uh, went full force on this and I have to say that um, about half of my list came from this brother right here because I wholeheartedly agreed with what he had to say so again shout out to black kings matter and without further ado I'm gonna give you eight ways on why sexting can harm you The first thing is that somebody can actually use it to blackmail you with. And um, I know that we all have seen this sort of thing happen in the news where somebody has gotten a hold of somebody's picture and now it is made public. And a lot of this has to do with some of our public officials sometimes or even celebrities. Somebody just got a hold of their picture and now is trying to blackmail them with it and sometimes the celebrities come out of the out of the closet or out of hiding or whatever it is and they will announce whatever it is that um, the person is trying to blackmail them with first and that's in order to get away from being blackmailed right but um, if you never put the picture out there you don't have to worry about being blackmailed by it right the second thing that I want to say is that, of course, your children could find this evidence. <laughs> and that could be something that uh, is very embarrassing once they do find it. And then you have to um, pretty much explain what actually happened. And the reason why I'm saying your children could probably find it because a lot of times we give our children our phone to play their games or something on there and of course children are children and we all have a little nosiness in us and not necessarily that they're trying to look and find something but they start to scroll through your photos and all of a sudden here is this half naked picture or even naked picture of yourself and they're wondering what the heck is going on and why it's here and they maybe even get freaked out and um, as a side note mentioning children I have to say that a lot of the studies that I looked up had um, sp were not had a lot of the studies that I looked up were specific to teens and sexting so you have to keep in mind especially those of you guys out there with teenagers and preteens and stuff they are doing a lot more sexting than you can imagine um, literally when I say every single study that I looked up was specific to teenagers and sexting and how they um, get into trouble with this and especially if they're like you know the age difference whatever you know one might be 18 or 19 and one of them is like 16 15 whatever the age difference is the older one can now get in trouble for um, um, sending of these explicit pictures to a minor so you have to keep these things in mind and especially educate your children on the do's and don'ts of sending these pictures and the implications behind them but even as adults I'm gonna bring it back to us even as adults sometimes we have a tendency to do these things because we are thinking that they're harmless and I have to go back to the teenagers and say that that was one of the things that consistently came up with the teenagers when they were sending these nude or half naked pictures to one another a lot of them felt like it's just harmless fun um, this leads me to my next point specifically to children but of course adults as well this could actually lead to cyber bullying you know we all think that we are feeling some type of sexiness when we send out these types of pictures and um, they get into the wrong hands or somebody is feeling like they need to out you about something and now it can turn into a cyber bullying situation and we know that cyber bullying especially I keep having to go back to the teens because it just I felt like this is a platform that it needs to be talked about and maybe this is a conversation that you need to have with their children hey maybe this is some information that you need to take in for yourself because maybe you're sending out a little bit too many sexting pictures and you need to scale it on back until you stop doing it because you just never know when you send this picture out which is one of my next points when you send this picture out you have no idea where this picture will end up yes we are sending it most of the times to our significant others or um, some m most of the time like that you send it to your significant others and then you guys let's say you guys break up right you break up and all of a sudden 
person has now gotten really ticked off with you and now they want to expose you to the world and now they put your picture on some type of an internet site. So they put it on an internet site and those pictures stay forever. Right? They stay forever. There is no getting rid of them. They might disappear into the abyss for several years, even decades. And all of a sudden, now it's your time to run for a political office. And all of a sudden, they have dug really deep. But all of a sudden, they find these naked pictures of you, honey. So these things don't go away when we're doing them as young adults or even teenagers and then we're starting to come into the fields and stuff that like professions that we want to get into some of these things can actually hold you back from getting into the positions that you want to get into which is another point these things can actually um, hinder you when you are trying to get a position or a professional um, career or whatever it is that you're trying to get into or don't forget that um, Companies are now looking at our social media sites to see exactly um, if you're a fit for the company. But you just never know when somebody wants to put that out there, which leads me to another point, which is these things could be actually leaks. Let's say, let's say, for instance, you or were dealing with a co-worker and now all of a sudden this co-worker has gotten pissed off with you. And now they want to expose you to everybody in the company. So they just go ahead and look at the email roster and they say, send it to every single solitary people person on that email roster, including the CO, the CEO, the COO, and all of those O's. <laughs> now, everybody has now seen your little naked butt, including the people at HR, right? So now they're trying to figure out what they're going to do with you. Are they going to keep you? And then, of course, now they got to go through, you know, who actually sent this and what the IP address and where it all came from. And it's just a whole lot of shenanigans when it comes to sexting and sending out this picture that you were trying to um, keep under wraps. Because you were only sending it, you were privately sending it to this person, but it didn't stay private which is the whole purpose of this. Sexting pictures can actually um, lead to or even result in criminal um, criminal charges against you. Like I said, there could be an age difference. Maybe you are, um, maybe you know, you know, there's some creeps out there. So maybe you actually notice you are sending it to a minor, but you're acting like you don't know. Or there's that, like I said, like I said earlier when I was talking about the teenagers, maybe he's 19 and she's like 16, 17, or whatever it is, maybe she's 19 and he's 16, 17, and they're sending pictures back and forth to each other. Now here comes possibility of criminal charges um, to the adult child. So uh, these are just things that you have to keep in mind. Or even maybe you're thinking because we have this internet thing, right? So maybe you're thinking, which early on, you know, some people send pictures very early on and um, they send these uh, pictures where they're in compromising positions, right? So let's just put it that way. And, and because we have the internet, really you could be anybody that you want to be on the internet. And uh, you send, you're sending these pictures of your privates to this unknown person that's saying that they're above age or whatever. And all of a sudden, there's criminal charges held against you because at some point, maybe the person in there told you that their age, you know, what their real age was, and you still decided to go ahead and send these pictures to them. Yes, I'm taking it down a dark road. However, I'm just putting these things out there because these things actually do occur. Maybe you do willingly know that the person is a um, minor, but you're still deciding, you know what, let me go ahead and send this picture. This is all harmless. And now here come the criminal charges against you. The next thing I kind of already mentioned, which is you have no control once you hit the send button, who is actually going to receive this image. Yes, you know who you initially sent it to, but you have no idea what the person on the other end that received the photo or the sexting picture, what they're going to actually do with this picture of you. You have no idea where it's going to end up. And we all would like to believe that our significant other is telling us the truth. And even if we break up, they're still going to hold these things close to their heart or just delete them. Okay, I don't know if you guys heard that, but that was kind of weird. <laughs> um, anyway, so we just don't know what's going to actually happen with these pictures once we hit the send button.
the final thing that I'm going to say about sexting is that <laughs> if you happen to be a cheater, yes, if you happen to be a cheater, this is a great way for you to get caught. <laughs> Because as soon as somebody contacts the um, mistress, especially if the mistress didn't know that she was a mistress. Now, you have some that know that they're mistresses, right? Or, or uh, uh, right, they, they know that they're not the number one. Let's put it that way. Some of them know. But my point is, especially if you are being the cheater, but you send it over to somebody else who either knows or doesn't know that you are a cheater, right? Because they're feeling like they got you, blah, 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 whatever, whatever thought process is going on in their head. And then they get ticked off with you. And all of a sudden, guess what they're doing? <laughs> they contacting your spouse. And of course, you telling the spouse, no, 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 it ain't me. No, no, no. And I'm not just talking about men. This happens on both ends. No, 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 it wasn't me. And then all of a sudden, this picture, this evidence comes through. And you look like boo the dang old boo. <laughs> so, Mr. Cheater, so, Mrs. Cheater, if this is you, you should absolutely not be sending sexting pictures, but especially if you want the evidence to never surface. Not that I'm trying to help you cheat. I'm just putting it out there that uh, sexting definitely can be more harmful than helpful, and it is not a harmless act like so many of us think. It's just something harmless. I'm going to keep them interested. Oh, that was another thing that I actually remember reading is that a lot of people that were doing the sex sexting, as far as when it came to adults, um, they were doing it when they were in long distance relationships and they wanted to keep the uh, the energy flowing they wanted to say that it wasn't uh, harmful because you know I want to keep them interested in me because I don't get to see this person every single day and I want them thinking about me but all of the things that I mentioned before can all still happen you have no idea what's going to happen with this photo afterwards Ladies and gentlemen, definitely keep these things in mind the next time you're thinking about sending yourself in a compromising position. Think about all of the things that can actually happen to you that would be more harmful than helpful. If they want a photo of you, you can send them one where you are fully clothed. Send them a headshot. So they are thinking of you. It could be something that's a little risque, but you don't have to be naked in your photos. That's all I'm saying. Keep these things in mind. And of course, as I always say, applied knowledge is better than just having the knowledge. Give me a thumbs up if you guys like a video like this. And of course, share it with all of the people that you know need to hear this information. And if this is your very first time here, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button or the icon with my lovely face. Because here at I Love BBB, I'm supplying you guys with the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships. I will see you guys in another video. Mwah.